Hello everyone and welcome back to Cynical Reacts. I'm your dude, Cynical. Have you ever been in love? Me neither. But if I had, perhaps I would propose. And if I was a total cringe lord, I might propose in one of the ways in the video that we're going to watch today. Today, we're going to be taking a look at marriage proposal fails. I don't mean fails as in, oh, you dropped the ring. I mean fails as in she says no, starts laughing, slaps you, runs away, any of those. <laughs> This is going to be so difficult to watch and so cringy, but oh, so worth it. So stick around till the end. Oh my God, what the heck? Dude, she got pissed and started throwing stuff down and breaking it. I want to thank the band real quick for letting me do this. Uh, I've been dating this girl for a year now. Oh my, and, God. Uh, oh my God, dude, I'm already cringing. If I'm that girl in the audience, I'm like, no. No, you're don't don't start doing this, dude. Do not do this. Um, I really love her, and I need to bring her up on stage. And you need to bring her up on stage. Why? I have loved a girl before, unlike what I said in the beginning, and I never felt the need to bring her up on stage and tell a bunch of random jerk offs how much I love her. Hey, all you freaking morons that I don't know, I really love Brenda. Okay, <laughs> like what the fuck? Bro, this is so stupid. Tell her how much I love her. So, Rachel, come on up here. I'm sure Rachel wishes she could just die right now. I want to die, and I'm not even Rachel, dude. She's got to keep um, waving her. I just, I just want to let you know how much I absolutely love you with all of my heart. Okay, you couldn't have told me this down in the audience where we were just sitting. I'm sorry, but all these grandiose shows of love or whatever are cringy. It's contrived. This is not real love. This is some dumbass you saw in a movie or you saw some other dumbass doing. And the past year of my life has been absolutely amazing and you've really changed me. So I, um... I just heard somebody in the audience scream, I love you, Rachel. <laughs> Don't do it. Don't do it, dude. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I'll take that as a no. And then he runs off. <laughs> the way he ran after her, he's like, oh, my love. <laughs> The best part was when all of his hopes and dreams got crushed. <laughs> I'm sorry. Is this wrong with me? Public proposals are some of the cringiest nonsense that I've ever seen. It's so contrived. Don't put me on the spot. Don't put her on the spot like that. Also, know how to read the room, you know? If you've been dating this person and you think you're at the stage where you can marry them, I would hope that you would know that they're gonna say yes before you even asked. And don't ask in public. That's cringe fest. Oh my goodness. Dude, do people really faint like that? Stop. Stop. What in the world? What in the world, bro? Why? Your whole body just goes unconscious because a man asked you to marry him? What the hell? This is weird. This doesn't mean that I don't appreciate romance, by the way, okay? Those of you that are starting to be like, oh my god, this guy doesn't understand romance. <laughs> That's not what this is. I just have a sense of humor, dog. <laughs> oh, she stood back up. She's ready now. Okay, good. Is she into it? Is she into it? Oh, ho, 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 ho. denied, son. And he got slapped. That's a hell of a denial. That's a hell no. That's not just a no. That's a hell no. And then she's running away. They often run away. Although I guess, what are you gonna do? Right after you just said no, you're just gonna sit there like, yeah, no, stupid. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, and then he's holding his head in his hands and crying. <laughs> Brenda, we were gonna be together. I'm sorry, dude. Do I look completely psychotic and heartless right now? I'm not. I actually really love love, you know? I'm all romantic and shit. It's wonderful. I'm just kidding. I, I do actually have emotions and stuff. I'm not... I'm not a monster, bro. <laughs> I'm not a monster, this is just funny. Oh, stop. Don't even bother running after her, dude. It's, it's over, it's over, man. You shouldn't have done that. You should have proposed to her somewhere like quiet, secluded, private, you know. Oh my god. And then for like the next 20 minutes, the cameraman is just sitting there filming him crying. <laughs> Come on, cameraman, stop. Oh, uh, what? Wait a minute, wait a minute. I think we've got a reversal now. We've got a lady asking a fella to marry her in a very cringy in public way. All right, don't let the boys have all the fun. Let's let the ladies cringe a little. I can't understand a damn word that she's saying. Am I a freaking idiot? I can understand what the hell is happening here though, right? We, see, we all see this. This is universal for some reason. I would never get down on one knee and do this bizarre little stupid ritual that all these numbnuts are doing. And I'm not saying you're a numbnuts if you've done this. Several of you in the audience might have done this when you proposed to your wife or whatever. I'm just not into it, dude. You do you. I would be more like, uh, so we've been together for a while now. We gonna do this or what? Are we gonna do this or what? That's not to say that I'm not romantic. Come on, baby. My idea of romance is actual, like, genuine, thoughtful stuff that actually came from me. That was my idea. That I didn't just steal from some other dipshit. Like, I'm not gonna give you a card that has a bunch of nice words written in it that somebody else wrote that I bought from the goddamn store, okay? I'm just not that dude. My idea of romance is like genuine moments of connection between two human beings. Th beings? Not all this contrived shit from movies and TV shows and these grand gestures in front of other human beings. I don't care what any of these dullards think. Okay, let's see. What's he gonna do? What's he gonna do? What? 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 What are you doing? You can't just run away, bro. And he's running all weird, too. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what? Don't do it. Don't do it. Just don't even do it. I don't know why. Anytime I see somebody getting on their knee, it cringes me so hard, bro. It cringes me timbers. And here, she's leaning into him to say, knock this off right now. Oh, denied, son. All right, um, don't just stand there staring at the ring for like the next 20 minutes. <laughs> Immediately leave the stage, my dude. Oh, my. Oh, oh, he started disassociating towards the end there. No. Uh-oh, not in the cafeteria, dude. Don't, don't do it. Did you see him just tap the frickin' napkin holder with like his fork or something? Dude, what is this? He took his fork and like tapped on the napkin holder like people do when they're gonna give a toast at a wedding. How you like take a fork or something, you're like <coughs> By the way, would everybody stop doing that? That's really annoying. Could everybody stop doing the same stupid crap? Come up with your own thing. Sorry. <laughs> ding, 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 um, everybody, everybody, Susan and I have an announcement, shut up. Okay, shut up. 
okay? If you ting, 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 ting your fork on a glass again, I'm gonna uppercut that glass right up through your chin, okay? I'm sorry. I'm just kidding. Violence isn't hilarious. Oh my God, stop. Well, oh, dude, what are you doing? And he's gonna, he's gonna say, everybody, everybody, gather around. I'm gonna embarrass myself. Everybody, come get a load of this. He has an announcement. God help me. Help me, God. On this very day, three years ago, I met my best friend. On this very day, three years ago, I met my best friend. That's another thing. A lot of these weird little public proposals start off with some little speech to all these strangers. Or there's like a speech to the woman, but it's in front of all these people. Like, it was a few months ago that I first met you in this cafeteria, and then the way that you ate that spaghetti, it made me know that you would be the person that I always wanted to be with. And you're all like projecting it loud like that in front of all these random people for some reason. It was in this very cafeteria that you changed my life forever. Like, what the f bro? What is happening? Why are they all the same? Help me, Rhonda. At least he's not standing on the damn chair, right? Right? Points, at least for that. Look, she's shaking her head like, no, 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 abort, abort, abort. I knew that this was the day that I was going to marry her. What? What? She's, she's already going like this, dude. Are you holding a brown paper bag on your knee there, sir? Hold on. Hold on. April Fools! Mm, okay, that was an April Fools joke. I think he was in on it too. They were pranking all these people around them, I guess. Okay, that was dumb and it shouldn't have been in here. Look up. Was that a prank? Because the way that he sat down there at the end, he kind of just sat like he got told no. <laughs> what? Was that real? Oh no. Uh oh. It's going down at Jesus Jam. Uh oh. I already detect inordinate amounts of cringe. This is going to go bad. Marsha, um. Marsha. Um, when I met you a year and a half ago, um. Why is it starting off like this? When I met you a couple weeks ago over there at Taco Bell and you were getting a Baja blast, that's when our eyes met and I knew I would be with you for a shut up, shut up. And through a lot of prayers with, with John and, and meeting you, you, you definitely. You were praying with John about me? What the fuck? You were praying with John about me. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Man, can we go bang? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Basically, the angel in my life. And you saved me. Oh, God, help me. And, and thinking and praying, the members have made the friendship. I feel like this is somewhat blasphemous to be doing this in front of the Jesus Jam poster. I can imagine Jesus looking down on this situation like this. Oh no, no son, no! Abort! Abort! You and I have had together, um... She looks so bored. She's like, dude, will you hurry up? Life. Can I hurry up and say no already? Entire life. The first day that I met you. Woo! <laughs> Thank you. Um, and... And the Bible says that you don't just want to marry someone that takes care of you, but loves you unconditionally. Is that what it says? And can guide you spiritually. It says all that? And you've done that this entire time. And... She guided you spiritually, bro? And... It's written on the walls that I, I want to continue that with you uh, for the rest of my life. Jeez. And... From the bottom of my heart. 
Can I, can I propose to somebody from the top of my heart? Would that be okay? Is that chill? Is that not romantic enough for you? From the incredible friendship that we have, will you spend the rest of your life with me as my bride? And will you marry me? Dude, something tells me if you like find somebody to date through the church, they're gonna be popping this type of crap on you left and right. <laughs> like after two weeks. Nothing against people that go to church. Alright, Marcia, he just asked you to marry him. Sorry. Oh ho 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 ho! She was just like, sorry. Oh my goodness. Oh, that was it too. Just sorry. Not even a no. But clearly it was a no. Well, looks like you misread the room, huh? You know, this reminds me of Acts 13, 18. I'm just kidding. I'm sorry, everybody, <laughs> with your religions and whatnot. <laughs> I don't know Acts 13, 18. I, I'm sorry, guys. Just jokes, okay? God has a sense of humor. He probably would have laughed at my dumb joke. And then cashed me into the pit of fire forever. Whatever, it was worth it. Oh, 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 oh the stand back up of shame, bro. Our God said you have to marry me. Okay? Did you read the book? Oh, that poor kid. Oh. Oh my goodness. Jesus Jam was ruined that year. <laughs> Jesus Jam, what is happening? W with a megaphone. Okay, we've got some captions at the bottom and it says, If you marry me, I will immediately put your name on the deed. What? To your house? You idiot, what are you doing? No, don't do that, you idiot. Is that the deed to his house? He's freaking handing her. Don't do that. She said, what? What are you, a moron? That's not fiscally responsible. Why a megaphone, dude? So the whole world could hear you get embarrassed, dude? No. We can put our names on it together, he says. It's not like I can't afford it myself. I'm not going to marry you just for this house. Oh, ho, 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 damn. I like her. She's a keeper. She's like, I don't need your stupid money or your dumb house. You thought you could get me to marry you just because of a house? You fucking idiot. How about a just would you marry me because I love you and you love me or whatever. Maybe not trying to buy her like she's an object. If you marry me, I will get you your very own mug just like this. Like... It'll be pretty high quality. Not as nice as this one, but almost as nice. So, what's up? <laughs> come on. Come on, man. It's a sweet ass mug. Baby, come on. All right, fine. How about if I give you a whole house? <laughs> the thing that I've worked for my entire life. You want it? Please just be with me. Come on. Come on, baby, please. Oh, oh, oh my God, that one hurt a lot. I'm cringing hard from this one. Oh my goodness. That one hurt. Are those people holding a banner in the background for this? Oh my goodness. Are these like his family all getting ready for this? Oh my goodness. Oh, that was not good. <laughs> that was not good. He said, I love you since I first laid eyes on you, I believe. And what are we at now? What is this? At Venice freaking Beach? What the hell? What are we doing? I can't imagine spending life with anybody except for you. I don't want to wake up next to anybody else. He doesn't want to wake up next to anybody else. All right, we'll stop waking up. Pro tip. Sorry, that was just a stupid joke. Don't take that the wrong way. So I've just got one question for you. I just got one question for you. Okay, here's a great idea. I would love to see one of these where there's the lead up and you think it's gonna be a proposal, but he actually pranks the woman, right? 
He's like, you know, ever since I laid eyes on you, I've wanted to make an honest woman out of you. That's some stupid crap that people often say. So I just want to know one thing. And then you get down on one knee and you're like, would you like to go to Applebee's? Would that be a hilarious April Fool's joke or could we still be together after that? Or um, are we, it's over now, isn't it? Okay, all right, fine, sorry. <laughs> What is it? I think that's a no. Oh, that's definitely a no. Kristen. Oh my goodness. The no always means we also can't hang out together for the rest of the day because they also run away. <laughs> They're like, we're not gonna finish hanging out now. Not only are we not gonna get married, we're not gonna finish these tacos at this cantina, so. Oh man. Oh man. Why does everybody keep putting themselves through this? Oh god. Help me, Rhonda. So I believe a lot of these, the dude is trying to like force the chick to say yes because he's proposing to her in some grandiose way in public, trying to pressure her into saying yes, right? Like all these people are gathering around, they're all like Oh my goodness, is she gonna say yes? You're like putting her on, dude. So not only are you like an NPC cringe lord who has no original thoughts, but you're also trying to force or pressure this chick into saying yes. So I don't really feel that bad when the chick is like, what? And just runs away. And I don't blame her for running away because that is embarrassing. Can you imagine, dude? Like. You've been dating this person for a couple months, even a year or whatever, and then all of a sudden one day they just pull this crap? Clearly you did not read the room, right? Like, unless you know a thousand percent that this person is gonna say yes, don't pull this shit. You might even ask them ahead of time secretly and then do this little display fakely somewhere. <laughs> You're like, I just wanna make sure you say yes before I actually go do this. She's going like this and stuff. She doesn't seem very receptive to this. She's giving them back. Saying, no, thank you, sir. I don't speak whatever language they're speaking, but I can pretty much interpret. She's like, um... No, take these flowers back. And then she's pointing to the right. She's like, you should probably go over there, away from me. And I'm going to go in the opposite direction. <laughs> He's like, but I got these flowers, though. <laughs> she's like, oh my god. I'm so embarrassed. I'm leaving immediately. Hello. All right, that did not go very well. This last one right here is completely insane. I don't even know if this one is real. I've seen this one before. Let's go. When you say hello to me, I mean, after I said hello, anyway, you're my John, you're my sweetie pie, you're my cutie pie. You're I don't know if this is real, but as you can see, he's proclaiming his undying love for this person here. And he's got like these people here playing some instruments and whatnot. I don't know if they were already there. I don't know if these were like mall mariachis or if such a thing exists, but they were playing, they're playing music in the background for this. You're my absolute John. He has to get out of the way of the train. <laughs> That's a bad omen, my friend. Um, anyway, keep going. Um, uh, you, John. It's playing some music. Everywhere I want. You're my sweetie pie, you're my cutie pie, you're my. You're my sweetie pie, you're my cutie pie. Okay. You're my everything. And I know you find this cheesy, but but I want everyone to know. I want everyone to know. Why? Why? Can somebody answer that for me? If a man is in love with a woman, why does everyone need to know? Um, why does this guy right here with this pretty sweet ass shirt, uh, why does he need to know? Okay. Why does this woman right here in the background who was just looking for a new dress. Why does she need to know 
how much you love this person. Okay, why? Why does this mop bucket need to know? I don't think anybody needs to know, bro. That's what's weird about the whole You make me really happy. And I have a little poem for you. The janitor doesn't need to know. Look, the janitor is walking away. They're like, I don't even want to know. I'd like everyone to hear this. When you smile, the whole world stops and stares for a while. When you smile, the whole world stops and stares for a while. She should have just kicked him in the groin right there. I'm sorry. This doesn't mean that I don't understand romance. <laughs> and my heart ceases to beat. And there's nothing else that I seek. Except Listen to the music in the background. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> except you. And I just have one question for you. Oh, she's trying to make him abort. Why didn't you see this coming already, chick? What did you think he was going to do? You knew he was leading up to this. You should have started running as soon as he picked up that microphone. I need to. I need to. I need to. You truly make me the happiest person on earth. Is this real? Hold on, where the hell did she get that tiny ass ukulele? Hold on, hold on. Okay, so what's happening? Let's observe and try to see if this is real. So these dudes are playing their instruments. I guess this guy has a ukulele. Is he really playing it? That'll let us know if this is real. She grip, rips it up. Sam. You truly make me the happiest person on earth. <laughs> okay, I'm calling fake. I think this whole thing is fake. It's a great story, it's hilarious, but um, Watch, look. When she removes the ukulele from his hand, he does not seem at all shocked. He's just like, okay, whatever. Right? A lot of this stuff doesn't make any damn sense, does it? You make me the happiest person on earth. Look, she took it away. He didn't respond at all. He literally did not. Look at this guy when she takes it away. You make me the happiest person on earth. He actually went to release it. As she went to grab it from him, his hands got limp and he released it. Look. You truly make me the happy- he, he goes to put his hand down like that right before she even grabbed it. He handed it to her. This is all staged. This person on <laughs> it is a hilarious skit though. And for the sake of this video, I'm going to pretend it's real. <laughs> You're my sweetie, you're my baby, you're my everything. I really thought it was sweet. All right, so what did you think of those proposals? Do I need to show you a grand gesture before you'll accept my love? Or can I just show up and say, hey, are we gonna do this freaking thing or what? All right, so like I said, I don't know if that last one was real or not. Um, it comes off like it is very much not real. But if it is, that's hilarious. Like I said, I disagree with these grand gestures. I think they're completely contrived. I don't blame any of those people for saying no and leaving and feeling embarrassed by this giant public gesture. Please be sure to subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the future. All right, bye.